And when they started this transition to Park MGM, I said, they're just putting lipstick on a pig. But lo and behold, this place remains one of our favorite properties in Las Vegas. I think the transition actually went well. If you're looking for a laid back Las Vegas stay, mm -hmm. I think this is your place. What's up guys, welcome back to Show Me Vegas and welcome to Park MGM Hotel and Casino. This is our 25th trip together and this is actually where it all started. Back in 2013, Jordan and I spent our first time in Vegas together at the Monte Carlo. Now a lot has changed at this property since 2013, but what hasn't changed is that Park MGM remains a great value on the Las Vegas Strip. In this video, we're going to show you what we love about Park MGM and why we think that this hotel might be the perfect place for your Las Vegas vacation. Now first and foremost, the casino here at Park MGM is one of the best on the Strip for us. This is the only property on the Las Vegas Strip to be totally smoke free, so if you don't like that smoky, hazy environment while you're playing slots or table games especially, this is absolutely the place for you. Another thing is that we both really enjoy the casino itself. It's open and it's big, but it's not too big. And I feel like they have a good variety of slots and table games here. Another reason is honestly, we love playing table games because out of all the properties on the Las Vegas Strip, we have found that Park MGM has some of the most friendly dealers that are really interactive and have a good time. So that's why we tend to like to gamble at Park MGM. Another thing we love about Park MGM is the location. If you're an MGM Resorts connoisseur like we are, this hotel is perfectly located for you. It has easy access to Aria. You could actually walk to Aria without even having to go outside. It is right next to T-Mobile Arena, so if you've got an event going on, it's a really good post walk. Also, New York, New York is right next to that. Now let's talk about dining. Now Park MGM doesn't have the biggest variety of restaurants on the Strip, but it does have some really good ones. Bavette's is a great steakhouse. We've eaten there. We've eaten at most of the restaurants at this property. There's also Primrose. That's a great place. One of the best places on the South Strip to have breakfast. And honestly, if you've never been, uh, Italy is on the front of Park MGM and it is an Italian marketplace. They have several different vendors in there where you can get anything from sandwiches to pastas to pizza. Um, I do find it's just a little bit expensive, but you know, everything's been really good that we've had there. So that's another really good option here at Park MGM. Italy also has our favorite little wine bar that's just off the casino floor. We love to go to that place. That's a great place also. You can just sit up at the bar and order food from the Italian restaurant right next door or just have a glass of wine or a cocktail. We go there every time we come to this property. It's a must. It's just like a nice little comfy area. And especially, like I said, we ordered food this last time there and it came within what, like two minutes? It was minutes. crazy. <laughs> yeah. You also have the highly acclaimed Best Friend by Roy Choi, our favorite La La Noodle, as well as the Nomad Library to choose from. There's also the Side Betty Grill next to the sports book, which is open 24 hours. Park MGM doesn't have a ton of cocktail lounges, but the ones they do have are pretty great. Juniper is one of our favorites anywhere. If you want to see more about Juniper and Nomad Bar, check out this video. Link in the description below. Now 
let's talk about the rooms here at Park MGM. They're not going to be considered luxurious by anybody's standards, but they are very efficient and very comfortable. They're a decent size, but they're laid out well, and it's just a really comfortable room for the price you pay, I think. We have really enjoyed the uh, service. We've gotten you know, housekeeping every day. We've not had an issue with that. The room is just impeccably clean. Um, the other thing is, when we're walking through the hall, anytime we pass um, you know, housekeeping, they get out of your way and always ask how you, you know, have a good day and you know, all of that, which really, I think, adds to um, the overall experience here at Park MGM. They're very service oriented. You get the kind of service here, they treat you like you're at a much more expensive hotel. And the other thing I want to add real quick is that this one, this hotel might have one of the best blackout shades that we've ever been in in Vegas. Have. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think it rivals the MGM Grand. It shuts out all the light. And if you're from the central time zone or even more the east coast, or That's you're coming from deal. <laughs> Yeah, or you're coming from overseas and you're suffering from jet lag. That blackout shade just absolutely blacks out every bit of light. You're actually able to sleep in a little yeah. bit. Now our stay was in the winter and it wasn't pool weather, but Park MGM has a rather underrated pool scene. The main pool complex consists of three pools with one heated and open year round. There's also a rooftop pool for nomad guests only. In the summer, the vibe at the pools at Park MGM is laid back and upscale. The pool deck also gets great sunshine almost all day long. So that pretty well wraps it up for our stay here at Park MGM. Hey, when this property was the Monte Carlo, in later years I said it was a total dump. And when they started this transition to Park MGM, I said they're just putting lipstick on a pig. But, lo and behold, this place remains one of our favorite properties in Las Vegas. I think the transition actually went well. What was the word we decided uh, we would use to describe this hotel? Comfortable and homey. I just feel like when we're here, it's kind of a relaxed. It's not, not that the crowd can't get a little crazy, but quite honestly, it just feels homey and comfortable. It's very comfortable. From the rooms to the casino, just the vibe here is very comfortable. If you're looking for a laid back Las Vegas stay, mm -hmm. I think this is your place. Hey, thanks for watching this one, guys. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, what should they do? They should subscribe. They should subscribe to the channel because that way you'll see all of our videos as they come out. Go back and watch the old videos as well. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one because there's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas. Bye, guys.